Hey guys, it's I, Alex again. I wasn't really sure what to call this video, so I'm going to call it Franchises. Now, there are some that should just be killed off, and some that should get a reboot, and just some that should stay around. Now, the ones that should die out are probably the ones that the companies have been milking for the last God knows how many years. Hmm, Call of Duty. I'm not going to say Battlefield because uh, I think it's DICE that does the games. Like Battlefield 3, they, they really made it a hell of a lot different. Like it was more, I guess it was more fun from what people said. Much better. Um, I would not say Assassin's Creed because, uh, you know, 1 and 2 were good. People are saying Brotherhood and Revelations are 3 and 4. They are not really 3 and 4. They're basically spin-offs. Basically, basically spin-offs. When they make legitimate 3 and it ends there, that'd be nice. If they keep going 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5,000, then the franchise has to die by then. If it goes beyond, like, 6 or 7, something like, maybe beyond 5 or 6, that means it has to die. Uh, what else has to die? Hmm. Resident Evil, maybe? Resident Evil 6 looks good, but uh, for the last few years, with like the, the 3DS one that came out, that was terrible. The one before that, I don't know what that was. Well, Resident Evil 5 was good. But I know Capcom made some games that were just stupid. And some of the, some franchises they have need to die, because they aren't doing well with them. Uh, then, what else is there? There's something else. Let's see if I can take a look here. I cannot think... Oh, yes. Yes, I can. Dragon Ball Z games. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Tenkaichi 2 and 3. I love Budokai 3 and uh, Infinite Worlds, which is number 4, basically. Because it is a Budokai game. But I will say... Raging Blast 1, although it was okay, it was... The controls for it were not that good, and just the way the battle system worked is not good. Raging Quest 2 kind of improved it, but it wasn't really that better. I, I played it. It's not that better. And then there's the Ultimate Tenkaichi came out. Everyone's saying this is going to be the, a Dragon Ball Z game that you've never experienced. And I looked at it. It's more like a fucking show or a cutscene than actually battling. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, I think it's time either they stop milking the franchise, make it good, or they just killed off all in together. Alright, so I can't think of anything else right now. I mean, the ones that should stay around. Actually, this is like a between, like, it should have died and it should have stayed, or should stay. Like, the Sonic franchise. Now, that is a kind of a weird franchise in terms of quality. See, the first three years, 1991, 1994... Really good. 1995, 96, 97, 98, not so good. Well, 98 for Japan is when it started getting good. So 99 for us in 2000, 2001, it was good. In 2002, it was, mm, 2003, eh, it was all right. 2004, nah. 2005, eh. 2006, eh. Fuck that game, oh, 06. And then Sonic Secret Rings still didn't really improve it. And Unleashed brought it back up a little bit. Then... Black Knight may go down a little bit more, because Black Knight's just a piece of shit anyway. Um, colors may... No, wait. Yeah, Colors went up, and Generations went up. So that's one of those franchises that it should have died in 2006, because it, it was pretty much almost dead by that year. Um, yeah, so it should have died then, but it should continue on, because Sega's showing promise for the series. Now for Nintendo's franchises, there are some that shouldn't have died off, but they're starting to come back to them. Like Kid Icarus, I haven't seen a game for that in like, I don't know how many years. Um, now, um, let's see, a franchise that should come back. Or no, no, I'm going to save the ones that should stay. Of course, Mario should stay here. His games are always good. <laughs> Hotel Mario. <clears throat> I know it's not really Nintendo, it was Philips, but... Uh, Zelda should stay. Games are consistent. <coughs> CDI. Um, no, nah, just kidding. No, 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 just kidding. That does not exist. Unless they're YouTube poops, of course, which are fucking hilarious. Metroid to stay around. Uh, other M was eh, from what I've heard. Star Fox. Where is it? No, that'll be... Well, actually, Star Fox 64. So the franchise is still kind of there, but they got to make a legitimate new game. I haven't made new ones in 2007, I think. Anyway. 
Uh, so yeah, most of Nintendo's franchises franchises should stay around, like Kirby, of course. I forgot Kirby. That should stay. Now, ones that are dead, or just not active anymore, should be brought back. Mega Man. Where is my Mega Man Legends 3, Capcom? Where are they? Hmm? If they're showing problems with Resident, Resident Evil 6, I'm pretty sure they could do a Mega Man game. I mean, come on. They're putting so much damn effort into fucking Resident Evil 6 from what I've seen. Why not with Mega Man? It's a hell of a lot more simple when it comes to an X game or a Mega Man X game or just a regu regular Mega Man game in general. You go left to right. You jump, you shoot, you make levels. That's it. Anyway. So yeah, Mega Man has to come back. Now, one of the franchises that was kind of going down the shitter that came back with a triumphant, awesome game, which is Met Ray, uh, Rayman Origins. See, that's coming back, so that's a good thing. Never played them, but from what I've heard, it was great, and the series is back up at its height again. Uh, what else does it have? Well, everyone knows that, you know, former icons on PS1 like Crash and Spyro were basically shit. Now they are. Uh, back then, they were fucking amazing on PS1. I love those games to death. Now, the series themselves, Crash and Spyro, they kind of start, they were like, okay on the new consoles, but then they just started to get, I won't say terrible, but they went down and down quality, and finally, the gameplay was just far too fucking weird compared to the other ones, and they died out. Especially Crash. What the fuck are you controlling a Titan for? Crash should be on foot running around. Not on top of a big fucking Titan controlling it. But, uh, I, well, actually, Spyro got a reboot, see? That's kind of nice. Uh, Skylander, Spyro's Adventure. Spyro's in it, but it's more focused on the other characters. I don't really know, but... Yeah, Spyro's game has been... This game is really good. It's like 8.5. It's pretty popular, because they're still making little figures to continue the game out. So that's kind of cool. So Spyro got his reboot. Now Crash needs to get a reboot. He hasn't had a game since 2008, 2009. Something like that. And those last two games that he had were terrible. Okay. And what really fucked the series up was... The redesigns and the, the the main gameplay. What the fuck happened to their models? Crash looks like has tattoos everywhere. <laughs> then Coco doesn't even look the fucking same. I'm like, mm -hmm. then is it Crunch? Yeah, it's Crunch. Yeah, Crunch the Bandicoot. Crunch Bandicoot. He looks a little more scary. I mean. I like this other model, but this one makes him look like he's fucking like, <gasps> oh no. Um, and there's the fucking Uka Uka mask. He went from a little square rectangle to a fucking <laughs> like a little surfing board, a circular surfing board. What happened? Okay, I don't know much about um, Pura and Polar, but I, I don't I don't remember seeing them. Dr. Cortex is probably the one that changed the least. He was got a little... Like, say this is him in the original Crash games. He got a little taller. His head's less, like, flat. It's a little bit more round. It's like, not like this, but it's a little bit more rounded now. So, he still looks pretty good to, like, his normal standards. Alright. Remember our friend Tiny the Tiger? You know how buffed out he looked? You know how fucking crazy he looked? Now he looks like the normal fucking tiger. See, at first I didn't know who the hell that was. I thought it was someone new, but no, that's tiny. What did you do? Okay, and then Uka Uka. You know how he looked pretty much the same as Uka? Uh, wait, no, not Uka Uka, sorry. Aku Aku looked like the fucking uh, surfing board. Uka Uka looks like... It's like a... It's not even a, it doesn't even look sim at all the same from his other design. It looks like a bunch of totem chain thingies. Just look it up. I can't describe it. So, Crash got fucked up real bad. Now they just need to do a reboot. Um, Naughty Dog, buy the rights again. I know you said you would never do it, but come on, do it. Revive the character. Then once it, everyone knows how it is, knows how good it is, give it to a company that will do it well. Okay? Activision fucked it up. So... That needs a reboot. That took a lot of time. Uh, da, 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 da. So I already said that. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't think of any other, other series that need reboots. Uh, Ape Escape? No, my god, it's a reboot. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. I 
don't really know. Take a look, see. Hmm. Oh, yes. A series that needs its reboot. Pretty bad. I wouldn't say really bad, but the fans of this really know it needs a third sequel. And I'm not talking about Sonic Adventure 3. No. We're talking about Power Stone 3. Where is it, Capcom? Are you just being so herpa derpa that you can't make another one? The last one, which is Power Stone 2, was on Dreamcast in 2000. Now, I know it's 12 years late, but you know, it would be nice if you did just another game. Just one more. Look at the HD consoles. You know, it's like a... The second one was a four-player like arena where you could fight each other. And it had two-player co-op. I think, well, I could go with the fucking four players. So two people could help, like, two players on one team, the other two on the other team. So your two friends right here, like, say my friend and I, are fighting the, my other two friends. Or his, or just someone else. That's pretty awesome. And then, like, the stages are moving around. Like, the Dreamcast's power, like, the dream, it took full advantage of the Dreamcast. I'm having a hard time, like, saying all the epicness it has. Like, it took the stages, moved it around. It was more interactive than the first one. Think of what you could do with the consoles today. PS3, 360. I don't know about the Wii, because the Wii is kind of over there. <laughs> PS3 and 360 are like, yay! P Wii is like, yeah. Wii U. Arrgh. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Really? Really? Then there's those lost franchises that need to come back, like Panzer Dragoon. That'd be nice. Uh, they made one on the original Xbox, so... Oh, now they just remembered, uh, Streets of Rage, I used to come back. We, there's actually another video that said how close we came to having number four. Uh, but you just look up on Yuri of Wind, he goes over it. Uh, just check out his other mysteries of why a game was never released. Anyway, that's all, uh, there you say that need a reboot, Japan's needs to die, and... Was there a third one? I don't know, just... Some franchises just need to die like Call of Duty, because... You may be thinking, well, if you say it's going to die, why didn't Sonic die? Because this game sucked. And, well, here's the thing. Sonic games did suck, okay? I mean, they were good and they went bad, okay? They were bad. Now, the company Sega is making them good again. They're going to make them, they're trying to make them good again. And with Colors and Generations, they show they can do it. So, the franchise shouldn't die now because it's getting better and better and better. Call of Duty, here's how it went. Let's see, is this reversed? I the, this thing right here. Let's see, since it's over here. Okay. <laughs> see, here's Call of Duty. It went Call of Duty 1. Eh, pretty good. Number 2, really good. Number 3, eh, it was good. My Warfare. <laughs> My Warfare 2, eh. Black Ops. Eh. My Warfare 3. <laughs> now, what I'm trying to say is, Call of Duty 1 and 2 were pretty damn revolutionary for their time. Same with Halo. Uh, Halo, well, I, I don't want to say that wants to die because I never really played Halo, so I'm not going to give my thoughts on that. So, like, Call of Duty 1 2 were just really revolutionary for the time for World War II shooters. And Call of Duty 3 came out, that was, I mean, I have it, it's pretty good. It's just, it didn't do much new. I mean, it had vehicles, you could ride, like, you know, actual trucks, um, little motorbikes, and tanks. So then, Mount Warfare 1, uh, Call of Duty Mount Warfare came out, which is COD 4. They took away the vehicles, okay, they put all of the modern weapons in there, which was really good. So it's like the best Call of Duty game, and it had like level up systems, whatever. Modern Warfare 2 came out, they still didn't put any, like, you know, vehicles to ride in. They only put in a few new weapons, they, they, they didn't really change anything, and that's like a fucking fest, like it's, a, it's like a, the mother of all hackers to join up and, you know, do whatever. So... That game didn't really change much, and it just, and the, there were a lot of problems with the game. Like, the engine it used just was really glitchy and shit. COD 4 had the perfect engine. Same with World at War. World at War, actually, it didn't make it go down at all. I mean, it went up a little bit. Had zombies, that may actually go up. And then Mount, and Black Ops came out. Black Ops, see, people, th I thought at first it was pretty damn good. Story mode was really good. The zombies didn't made it better. I mean, that's the only thing that made it good. Multiplayer was fucking broken. And the thing that makes me sad is, Farragut is saying, we're going to try to make it more balanced than Mount Fair 2, 
we're gonna like make kill streaks very like not as powerful, um, not overpowered. You know, just make the weapons even and not like um, overused or broken. They lied. There's a weapon that's broken. The power, the streaks are fucking overpowered. RCXD, mind you. And its engine just runs so damn bad. Its lag was terrible. Like the frame rates are terrible. Like you could shoot somebody. Like say they're right here. Say I'm right here. Here's the enemy. You know, I shoot right here. And he's he's way over here. It still registers over here. So I shot a bullet right at the guy. And he's a little bit to the right of the bullet, for example. It still hits him. What the fuck? Alright. I'm not trying to bash it, but... Yeah. Oh, yes. There's a video on there why Black Ops sucks. This guy kept spawning and spawning and spawning. In ten seconds, he got killed by like five kill streaks. And he just stopped going and going and going. So yeah, the game was not balanced really at all. And it nerfed the sniping, so fuck. They want your quick scoping, but people can kind of do it. Mario Fair 3, might as well call it Mario Fair 2.5. They didn't change much. The engine feels a little different. The weapons, they feel kind of different, but there's a few different weapons. Well, they're kind of the same weapons, except they gave them different names and a slight redesign. There's a few new guns, but uh, most of them are just reskin the same thing. Now, that's it. it. The story was okay. They ended it. Thank God. No more Mount Fair. But, um, just... Ugh. Survival was okay for like a week or two, and they got boring. So, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. All right, this is Alex, and I will see you all later. Tell me what you want to... Tell me what you want to... Tell me what you think below. You can hate, you can like, you can... Lake... And dislike you can dislike just do anything I'm, I'm sorry I'm running I'm a little oh, I can't think of anything right now you can like or dislike or just do both I don't know how that works but this is Alex and I'll see you later